hey there i am glad you are here today we are we have got something really cool to share with you whether you are a coding pro or just starting out this video has something for you make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of your future videos so let's get started so today we are diving into apache airflow you might be using apache airflow as one of your tools so what is apache airflow so apache airflow is basically an open source tool which we can use for orchestrating uh, complex workflows and data pipeline it provides various functionalities uh, in which uh, it allows users to schedule monitor and manage workflows which we known as uh, directed acyclic graph is also known as dag it provides provides various features such as uh, defining workflows monitoring of workflows uh, handling uh, dependencies between task uh, retry option monitoring uh, and uh, and you can also say alerting features so it is you can say it's an basically uh, basically an etl tool which stand for extract uh, transform and load to process uh and automate our data workflows so now let's jump in uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of apache airflow so every tool has advantages and disadvantages you might be using other etl tool uh, such as python talon informatica azure azure databricks or you can say azure data factory each one comes with uh, advantages uh, or disadvantages so let's directly jump in so first comes the scalability so apache airflow provides the flexibility in which uh, we can scale uh, our uh, workflows by uh, using the appropriate executor for example kubernetes executor it what it will do it will horizontally scale if there is a much workload or it will downscale if there is less uh, workload second comes the flexibility flexibility uh, mean in the sense it provided provides various plugins uh, and integration to various tools for example we can connect uh, to aws and use uh, and, and use and create emr cluster add a step uh to it we can also use glue we it um, provide various hooks to connect to uh, various uh, sources third comes uh, modularity modularity means uh, it provides the flexibility where we can add or delete various uh, airflow com uh, airflow task which is when required then comes uh, you can say ease of use so it provides an easy user friendly interface for creating scheduling and monitoring workflows making it accessible even to non technical user so there we can create schedule using cron expression or monitor workflows so uh, you can see history of each of the dag of all the tasks so you can uh, see date wise when it ran and where in which task fail and which task is access second uh, at last uh, it's uh, open source so uh, as you are aware apache is open source next one other advantage is um, it has version control so uh, each workflows which are defined as code uh, are controlled using version control tools such as git then comes the disadvantages part yeah so you can see debugging can be one of the uh, uh disadvantage because because the logs that are present here can be ambiguous and there are lots of logs that are being produced which makes the airflow 
UI bit slow while we are retrieving the logs of previous run. Then comes the installation. So yeah, you can see installation is quite tricky if you are installing in local. But we will see and uh, and will make sure that you don't face any issues while installation of Airflow. Now comes the uh, might be uh, other uh, coming to the other disadvantages uh, might be you can say community support might be one of the issue because uh, it's a bit a new tool and each one of the of us are working on it and learning as we code. So you can see some of the things are readily available. Uh, you can say connectors, plugins, but some if we are new, you might face, uh, you might might have a slow learning curve. So now let's see how Airflow UI basically looks like. Uh, so later we will see how we can install effectively uh, Airflow. So let uh, so let me show you how we can uh, how the UI basically looks like. So this I will set up in the later or in the next video. But first, let's show you how the UI looks like. So here you can see this is how Airflow UI looks like. So you can see on top DAGs, cluster activity data set, security browse, admin, docs. And here you can see all the DAGs. So you can see total 51 DAGs are present in which 6 are active, 45 are paused. 3 are in running state, 0 are failed. You can filter using the tags. Here you can see at the bottom, bash operator, these are the tags basically. You can search for all the tags. Here comes the auto refresh option and uh, another how we can refresh it. So you can see corresponding to each tag, you can see the bash operator. So this is basically a tag name which needs to be unique across the Airflow environment. No two tags have the same. Uh, DAG ID then comes the owner so we define owner in default document which we will learn about later then comes the run in run part basically you will get to know how much uh, a run a total number of runs are success failed running or failed schedule comes the when you want to run you can both run the DAGs by using schedule in schedule manner triggered uh, by an external vendor or you can manually run the DAG. Then comes the last run, when the DAG last run, when the expected next run is happening depending upon the cron expression. Then comes the action, you can see you can trigger the DAG, you can delete the DAG and the uh, quick links. So you can view the code view, grant view, landing view, duration, calendar, graph view, grid view. So hope you are enjoying the video, kindly stay tuned because it's a whole series where we will be covering airflow from scratch to advanced level so stay tuned have a nice day